Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and today we have with us a VR platform called 3D Glasses and uh, it, uh, just for your reference, it is very similar to what we've seen with the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. Uh, it also has uh, a controller that looks uh, something like this and uh, just to quickly run us through what exactly 3D Glasses is all about, can you give us a brief as to what the product is? Actually, we are working with Microsoft to provide a device that can support the Windows holographic shell functionality. So uh, by having a free glasses couple, then you can call out the Windows uh, holographic shell that will become like like what you're seeing right now, because like a, free, a virtual room that you can do like a group uh, of Microsoft Edge on one side of the wall, uh, or the YouTube on the other side of the wall. Other than that, you can see that you can play all the apps inside the, uh, the computer. For example, like you can also play those old-fashioned games, uh, 2D games, with this, uh, with, with this Windows on a box shell. And that would be kind of fun, because people are saying that there's not enough content, but right now you can make use of this, this free glasses, a Google S1 console, and then you can play 2D games as well. So essentially, all, all of your existing content that you have on your Windows machine can be accessed in VR using this headset? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. And also in the future, there will be VR content and you can also play with it. Okay. So that will be a uh, extendability possibility. So on the machine out here, we had the opportunity to experience a demo of uh, uh, jumping around a room, a virtual room, and also seeing a virtual city. So are those experiences just limited to these demos or are those something that uh, somebody can actually experience at home? Well, right now, what you see is the, uh, it's only the VR UI. Okay. Okay, in future, because um, Microsoft is trying to get more developers on board, okay. trying to create more content for the uh, for the users. That really depends on how the developers are making the content. Okay. That can be interactive, that can be like uh, only watching, okay. or it can be like multiplayer. So there are many kinds of possibilities. Also, also, there are a lot of existing VR apps and games for platforms like Oculus and HTC. Are those apps compatible with this headset? I cannot say for them, but uh, if the content uh, is made for like Windows Store, then you can play on the Windows Free Glasses Okay. So if I have existing games that I have from the Windows Store, I can experience them in VR and 2D, of course, Pretty much. using uh, Pretty the headset. Okay. Yes. And uh, can you tell us about the price, availability, launch plans that you have for this headset? So right now you can see the whole set, including the XMT, including the, uh, the IR camera, and also the a set of like a, a pair of controllers. We are pricing it at four nine nine US dollars for okay. shipping costs and custom. So uh, it probably will be available in about a month or two. Uh, that's uh, pretty much about Q2, Q3 time frame this year. All right. Okay. okay. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you.